What's that? Do a little dance. My best Russian dance. Howdy, y'all. It's Jordan Smith. Today, I want to talk to you about LP Whole Home. So, all of the products on this home so far are LP products, starting with the foundation and going all the way up through the roof decking. And in full disclosure, LP is sponsoring this video, so thank you, LP, for that. Let's get right into it. So, if you saw my previous videos on the helical pile, you know that we have augered in, it's not really an auger, it's actually screwed in, about 28 piles across the foundation of this house. We've got a floor plan of about 2,000 square foot on the first floor and about another 1,000 square foot upstairs. And all of this is supported by 24 piles for the main house and then my porches are also supported by piles. And what I like about those helical piles is we know exactly how much force each pile is able to take because we're monitoring our helical or our torque as we put those helical piles in. So if we get 5,400 pounds of torque, we know that each one gets 70,000 pounds. Go check out this card here if you wanna know more about the pile foundation that we put in underneath this. But now, all we've got are these pipes sticking up out of the ground. We have to build a house on top of that. And this is where LP comes in. We used LP's LVL, so this is a laminated, veneer lumber. So we've got these thin veneers and they're all glued together to make these laminated beams. And we have some two ply, we have some three ply, and then we have some places with four ply. Because the helical piles can take so much weight, we could have done just very few piles across this structure and been fine. Unfortunately, as you go further and further between the piles, you have to support more for your beam and you're going to start getting deflection. So we kept those tight about 12 feet. So our piles are spread out about 12 feet apart and we put our LVL beams across that structure creating a grid. And then we hung eye joists. And what's cool about the eye joists is we have two structural dimensional lumber members for our um, top and bottom flanges and they're connected with the web in between with OSB and this creates a super stiff, pretty light structure, much more stiff than dimensional lumber of the same size and completely straight. So when we put our subfloor on top of that, we had a very flat floor. And then for our subfloor, we used legacy premium subfloor. We used an inch and an eighth version of this and it is completely rock solid. Now we just didn't nail it in there. We did what APA recommends. We glued it and then we nailed it. But again, we didn't use just a regular nail, but we used the Passload Tetragrip Nailer. I'm gonna do a whole video just on this gun because I think it's that cool. But long story short, it shoots a nail that has these helices on it. I like helices in this house, I guess. Use it for the foundation, use it for the subfloor nailer as well. But it spins like a screw, so you get about I forget now, nearly three, maybe a little over three turns per nail as it goes in there. So it screws itself into the floor and creates a super stiff subfloor. Um, when I put my video up, you're gonna see a test that Kyle with our buildings and I did. Um, if you want a spoiler alert, go check out his Instagram. He's got a post on there where I do a test with him using one of these nails versus a ring shank nail and this blows the doors off the ring shank nail. So we glue and screw the subfloor on, and then going up from there, we use what you see here behind me, and that is an LSL stud. That's a laminated strand lumber. So you have all these strands, just like OSB, they're glued together, and they are completely straight, they're completely stable, they're not going to move on you. They're not going to dry out over time and warp and change. They're completely dimensionally and structurally sound from the beginning, which is awesome for critical walls like cabinets, anywhere you're putting tile. This whole bottom floor here is going to be level five finish. So we want completely straight 
clean walls that are sheet rockers or drywallers, when they come in, they're gonna be able to hang their rock and do a quick float and not have to worry about a bunch of cupping and warping studs. The LSL studs are gonna be about three times as much as a traditional dimensional lumber. So you're really gonna be spending more money there. Definitely is worth it wherever you have a super critical, you know, you're looking down a long wall and light's gonna be raking against it or you have this big tile feature or you're hanging cabinets, you know, kitchens, bathrooms, maybe places like that, definitely worth it. Whole home, I don't know. I like it, I'm gonna be trying to use it as much as I can, but even on this house, upstairs, we went with dimensional lumber just to help save a little bit of cost. Now on those LSL studs, we put WeatherLogic. This is LP's fully integrated sheathing product and I really like it. It's very similar to other products that are out there on the market. It's a high quality OSB and it's got an integrated WRB, weather resistant barrier in it and then you tape all of the seams. The tape is a high end acrylic and what can I say, it's my preferred way of sheathing a house is an integrated WRB because if water gets behind one of our tape joints, for example, it can't run down between our WRB and our OSB because the WRB is completely integrated in. If I did a wrap and I had a leak somewhere up here, well, that water's gonna run all the way down the face of the OSB or plywood all the way until it drains out of the structure on the back side of our WRB. So I really like a fully applied WRB like the WeatherLogic is. They also have a rain screen coming out, a WeatherLogic rain screen, which I really like. And that's gonna give you more drainage between your siding and your WeatherLogic WRB. We are just a little bit ahead of their schedule here. So the, the rain screen that we did, where we did a rain screen, we went ahead and did furring strips. But keep that in mind that they have a a mat that you can wrap around the WRB to give you a rain screen as well. And then finally, on the structural side, moving upstairs, we have Tech Shield. Now, Tech Shield is a radiant barrier roof decking. So there's another video, go check it out, where I show that the sun's radiation hitting that roof deck isn't passed into the attic, it's rejected. And we've got about I was measuring about a 10 degree difference using an infrared thermometer. Kyle and I also did a review of a test that LP was showing at IBS, and they were showing a 30 degree delta between the exact same setup. One side had just straight OSB, and the other side had tech shield. So that is what we have for our roof decking. Now, what makes LP so cool is because I don't know of any other company that offers everything from your LVL underneath all the way up to your roof decking on top, your sheathing, your studs, your subfloor. And then once you get ready to side it, we're using LP Expert Finish Smart Side. I love this product. I'm a big fanboy of this product. Everything else that I've talked about so far, um, there are competitors out there which would be a fine, you know, if you chose green instead of blue for your sheathing. Okay, that's, that's fine, both good companies. If you prefer a um, A subfloor instead of an L subfloor, you know, that's fine. They're both good products. If you like um, a different manufacturer of beams instead of LP, all of that is okay. All of those competitive products are okay. But the smart side, in my opinion, is my favorite siding, it really is. And I'm not just saying this because they're providing it. It really is a great product. It comes in 16 feet long. It's light enough for one guy to pick up and carry a whole bundle by himself. It won't break in half when you pick it up like the fiber cement will. Uh, the pre-finish, it comes in 16 colors pre-finished. They look great. It's super easy to get up and have a finished painted house and it's a really durable paint. It's actually an automotive grade paint, so it's much better than what I could put on if I'm just painting my house. 16 colors is a little bit limited, so if you have a designer who's wanting to go really crazy, um, you've got a more limited color palette, but for guys like me who, you know, has white and gray and, you know, I can, 16 is more colors than I know, 
then it's okay. But if you're like Veronica holding the camera, she's like, uh, you know, I want something to be halfway in between there and a little more moody. I don't know what that means, but if you're that type of person, then you might want to get the smart side and not have it pre-finished. But their expert finish has a shiplap edge on it, which I really like because usually where you bring these two pieces together, because they come out of the factory so dry, that when they sit on a house, they're going to absorb, absorb moisture and grow a little bit. So you want to leave a small gap, a 3 16 gap between the two pieces of siding. That way, when it expands, you have room for expansion and it doesn't want to buckle on you. Well, that gap there gives you a weak spot for leaks to get back up against the house. And there's a few ways you can take care of that. One, you can caulk it. Eh, I don't really like that. There's some great caulks in the world. Um, color match too, so if you're not painting this, you can color match it all. But you're still going to have to pull that caulk out and re-caulk all those joints every couple of years, maybe you can go five years. You know, homeowners aren't interested in doing that kind of maintenance on their home. So what I prefer to do on just a normal joint is put pan flashing. So put a piece of metal flashing back behind that gap so I don't have to worry about caulking it. But LP has taken care of all of it with their expert finish, and they actually have a slip joint, a uh, shiplap slip joint that you put up, and because this piece is self-flashing, the piece that goes on top of it, we don't have to worry about doing any pan flash, we don't have to worry about doing any caulk. It's painted to match and it looks really nice. So I like the new expert finish that's just brand new to the market, so if you're seeing this and you don't see it at your local um, lumber yard, just ask them, they're going to be able to get it, but they might not have it in stock now. So that's it. That's the whole spiel on this house. All LP, all in LP farmhouse. So I like their product. Um, yes, they did pay me to do this, but it's great product from, from foundation to roof and siding. I would absolutely use all of these products again and can wholeheartedly endorse them. Make sure you check out the link below if you're interested. And then the best part about this, I nearly forgot, is that if you get a whole house, they're going to be able to offer you some pretty competitive rebates because you can do everything from the beams through the siding, through the roof decking, all with one company. And if you buy it all from one company, you can get rebates too. So make sure that you check out what kind of rebates they're offering. Thanks so much for watching. Comment below, what are your thoughts? Do you love the expert finish slip joint? I do. Do you hate it? What's your preferred siding? Um, do, are you a fiber cement guy? Because fire, well, these guys also have a flame block, so you can actually sheathe your whole house in a fireproof OSB. Another, another, another video for another day, but comment below, favorite siding, favorite subfloor, whatever. If you have more questions, comment below. If you have something that you want me to cover in more detail, comment below. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if we've earned it. Go follow us over at Instagram at Jordan Smith Builds at Smith House Co. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Smith House. Кофе горького себе он наливал, наливал, да закуривал кубинскую сигару, и при этом он тихонько напивал. Эй, гусаров, саров, саров, ты гусаров, эй, гусаров, ты гусаров, молодой, эй, гусаров, саров, саров, ты гусаров, эй, гусаров, ты сегодня холостой. Устает Сергей Гусаров, а когда в субботний вечер достает, достает русский ресторан, идет гулять Гусаров, там всю ночь он пляшет и поет. Эй, Гусаров, Саров, Саров, ты Гусаров, эй, Гусаров, ты Гусаров, молодой, ой, ой, эй, Гусаров, Саров, Саров, ты Гусаров.